Hey, how's it going? In this video, I'm going to be talking about white paper and what that is. A white paper is a document that provides in-depth information, analyzes and details about specific topic, product, technology or concept. White papers are typically used in business, academia, and the tech industry to convey complex information in a clear and authoritative manner. They often serve as a form of context marketing or throughout leadership, helping organize establish themselves as experts in a particular field. Uh, key uh, characteristics of white paper include in-depth analysis, white papers delve deep in the subject offering thorough explanation, research, findings and insights, objective tone, white papers are typically unbased and objective, uh, presenting facts and analysis uh, without promotional language, authority, we are authored by experts or organizations with credibility in the subject matter, Landing authority to the content, research and data. White papers often include data, statistics and references to research studies to support their claims. Problem solution approach. When the white papers addressing a specific problems or challenges and propose solutions to the strategies uh, uh, that are looking to address. Audience. White papers are often written for a specific audience such as industry professionals, researchers, or decision makers. Structure, they typically have structure form including an introduction, problem statement, methodology, analysis, conclusion, and references. Visual elements, white papers may include uh, charts, graphs, illustrations, and other visual aids to enhance understanding, citations and references. Proper citations and sources and references is important to maintain credibility. White papers can convey a wide range of topics including technical subjects, industry trends, policy proposals and more. They are often used by businesses to showcase their experience, by researchers to share findings and by organizations to advocate for a particular position or solutions. When writing a white paper, it's important to uh, be critical and assess the sources, methodology, and evidence presented by to ensure information is uh, reliable and accurate. Uh, myself, I'm focusing a lot on the overall project management and how to approach it. And if I stumble upon a white paper, that's perhaps one of the ways of structuring overall project management. And perhaps uh, <laughs> it could be potentially one of those approaches of managing projects. In project management, a white paper, uh, paper may refer to a document that provides detailed information about specific project, process, methodology, and best practice. These white papers are often used to uh, educate stakeholders, team members, and the other board, uh, broader organizations about the various aspects of the project management. They can serve as reference materials. Gu uh, guides or documents for specific project management approaches or tools. Uh, let me share some examples. Project management uh, management methodologies. A white paper may explain the detail uh, a particular project management methodology. Uh, there are so many of them on myself. <laughs> I have done so much research, so you, you, I would definitely recommend everyone to do their own research of how to manage the projects and how many different methodologies are, are there. For someone who is uh, at an advanced level of managing different projects, there are different courses. Uh, you can find everything online. Usually it takes five day courses and you can do different uh, uh, qualification, expertise, or expand your knowledge on the only thing what you need to do is five-day courses and uh, I don't want to promote that. <laughs> so yeah, there are so many of them. Uh, project management software. White papers can be used to describe project management software solutions comparing different tools. 
their features and how they can benefit the project team. These documents help organizations to make informed decisions about what software to use, best practices, project management white papers often outline best practices in various project management areas such as risk management, stakeholder communication, scope management, or resource allocation. The, they provide uh, guidance on how to handle common challenges effectively. Case studies, some project management white papers may present case studies of successful projects, highlight the strategies, tactics, and lessons learned from those projects. This can help project uh, managers and teams apply similar uh, approaches to their own projects. In industry-specific guidelines, in certain industries, project management practices can be highly specialized. White papers can often industry, uh, can offer industry specific insights and recommendations for a project managers working in the field like construction, healthcare, uh, IT, or manufacturing. Project governance and reporting. White papers may cover topics related to project governance and reporting structures and key performance indicators, KPIs, for evaluating project success. Project risk management. White papers can delve into inter cases of intricate of project risk management, uh, explaining how to identify, assess, and mitigate risks effectively. Overall, project documentation. Some white papers may focus on project documentation standards and templates helping project managers create constant, uh, consistent and organized project documentation. These project management white papers are uh, valuable resources for project managers, team members and other stakeholders seeking to improve their understanding of project management concepts and techniques. The white papers can help also play a um, role in continuous improvement of project management practice with any organization by disseminating knowledge and promoting the adoption of best practices. For everyone who would like to know more about business and how to structure a business, what you need to know before starting your own business, I uh, would highly recommend uh, purchasing this book and definitely reading it. Uh, in the book I'm sharing a lot of information for uh anyone who is just starting out or perhaps have been in the business for a very long time uh, i'm sharing my projects uh, projections of the markets and how uh markets going to be moving where the markets are right now and how people understand the markets right now as well as uh, making projections wild projections in the book where markets going to be shifting and how a lot of information and uh, perhaps a lot of things going to be done in the future for anyone who is interested, you can find this book in the link in the description. You can purchase on my company's website as well as it's available for at the places of retailers. Thank you. Uh, just to summarize overall, uh, white paper, uh, I have touched on that previously. Uh, if you would begin with a uh, blueprint, blueprint is uh, overall uh, structure and your own understanding that you might want to have uh, other ways to understand it it might be as a map right so you would begin with the blueprint how you like to structure move so it's for perhaps your own sake it's worth having a blueprint how you want to structure everything white paper should steam from blueprint right but it's not necessarily should be exactly the same copy, but perhaps directions and understanding, outline the scope of what would be required to achieve some of the goals uh, outlined in the blueprint. And you might want to share that as a white paper. And white paper should be perhaps, it depends on what kind of project you are managing, right? It would be, a, it might have a time frame, it might have some examples, overall explanations, perhaps overall white paper is would be a document uh, that you would like to share with overall you know perhaps management and guide them and give them directions overall management of uh, how you want to structure uh, overall business and 
where you want to lead and what kind of direction and what would be required that would be blueprint first document for your own sake that you should keep it and from the blueprint you might want to move to a white paper or more or less copy of a blueprint perhaps not identical copy but overall and from there it will be a white paper of the white paper you actually would show and share with everybody and give them directions if that's something that you to adapt as a structure and system of how you want to operate and manage different projects. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.